Hello everyone. In this section, we will see how to use definite integrals to compute consumer's surplus and producer's surplus. So the initial setup is the following. You start with a demand curve and a supply curve. A demand curve depicts the price per unit, P equal DQ, for a product at which the consumer will agree to purchase Q units. Typically, the demand curve is the graph of a decreasing function. A supply curve depicts the price per unit, P equal SQ, for a product at which the supplier will agree to sell Q units. Typically, the supply curve is the graph of an increasing function. The point that we will label Q0, P0, where the demand curve and the supply curve meet, is called the equilibrium point with Q0 being called the equilibrium demand and P0 being called the equilibrium price. The first area that we want to compute is the one here in red. So here we go. So this area is the area between the demand curve and the line P equal P0 from Q equal zero to Q equal Q0. That area is called the consumer's surplus, and we will denote that quantity by CS. It tells us how much money was saved by the consumers who were willing to buy the product at a higher price than P0. And this area is given by the following definite integral. So here we go. Boom. So the integral from 0 to Q0, so 0 is... Of course, the starting point, the lower bound of your definite angle to Q0, the upper bound of the definite integral of DQ, the upper function, minus P0, the lower function. So if you compute this definite integral, you get the consumer's surplus. The second area that we want to compute is the following. Poof! So here, that area is in a shade of blue. So the area between the supply curve and the line P equal P0 from Q equal 0 to Q equal Q0 is called the producer's surplus, and it is denoted PS. It tells us how much extra revenue that was made by the producers who were willing to sell the product at a lower price than P0. And that region can also be computed using a definite integral. So the following definite integral, boom. So the integral from zero to Q0 of the upper curve P0 minus the lower curve SQ, the supply curve DQ, is going to compute the producer's surplus. So in a nutshell, these two definite integrals, which are pure application of definite integration to compute area between two curves, are going to compute for you the consumer surplus in red and the producer surplus in blue. So let's do an example. Here's an example. Suppose the demand curve is given by dq equal to 15 minus q, and suppose the supply curve is given by sq equal to q plus 3. We will first find in A the equilibrium point, so price and quantity, because we need these two things in order to set up our different integral to compute the consumer surplus or the producer surplus. And then in B, we will compute the consumer's surplus and then in D, we will compute the producer's surplus. So to get the equilibrium point, you just need to set up dq equal to sq. In our case, this will be the same as 15 minus the root of q is equal to q plus 3. So here we go. Boom. So that's our initial setup. Then you just need to solve this radical equation. To solve a radical equation, you need to isolate the square root. So here's the detail of the computation of solving this equation. So poof. So what I've done for you, I just brought the square root on the right side. I brought the q plus 3 on the left side. So 15 minus q minus 3 simplifies on the left here to 12 minus q. And then this is equal to the square root of q. 
once the radical term is isolated, you just square both sides. So 12 minus Q squared is going to uh, expand into 14 minus 24Q plus Q squared. And this is going to be equal to the square root of Q squared, which is just Q. Now, if you bring everything on the, on, on the left side, you get the radical, sorry, the quadratic equation Q squared minus 25Q plus 144 is equal to zero. And that can be factored. If you're not sure how to factor, just use the quad formula. But in this case, Q minus nine times Q minus 16 is the factorization for this equation. And when you set this equal to zero, you get two solutions. They are nine and 16. But be careful when you solve a radical equation, it's possible that these solutions, that one or more of these solutions are not solution of the original equation. So what you have to do is you need to plug the solution in the original equation when dq is equal to sq. So if you try nine, for example, so if you plug nine inside, poof, dq or sq, d of nine or s of nine is equal to 12. So nine is a solution. But meanwhile, if you put 16 in the original equation, what you're going to get is that d16 is 11, but meanwhile, s16 is 19. So these two quantities are not equal. So 16 is not a solution. So this means that the solution that we're looking for, so the equilibrium quantity is nine and the equilibrium price, which we get by putting nine inside d or s is 12. So here we go. This is our fixed equilibrium point. So Q0 is 9 and P0 is 12. And you need these two quantities in order to set up, set up the definite integrals for the consumer surplus and the producer's surplus. Now let's compute the consumer's surplus. So here we go. Boom. Okay, so the first thing you have to be very careful with is to set up correctly the definite integral that uh, compute that will compute this quantity so the definite integral is always from zero to Q zero. In our case, Q zero is nine. So the upper bound is Q zero. And it's always the integral of the demand curve minus the equilibrium price. So here the demand curve. So DQ is 15 minus the square root of Q and the equilibrium price, the P zero is given by 12. So make sure you put all the right thing in the right spot. Remember, typically in these questions, D and S are given, but you need to compute Q0 and P0 in order to construct this definite integral correctly. Now, if you simplify this definite integral, so 15 minus uh, the square root of Q minus 12, you can bring the constants together and this will become the following definite integral. So here we go, boom. So the integral between zero and nine, 15 minus 12 is three minus the square root of Q, dQ. Now we have a definite integral of a basic function. So I just need a primitive. So here I don't need to look too far. So for example, poof, if you take the function big F Q being three Q minus two over three Q to the power two over three, that will be a good example of a primitive for the integrand, so the formula inside the integral. And now you can use the first fundamental term of calculus. So by the first fundamental of calculus, this quantity will become big F at the upper bound, which is nine minus big F at the lower bound. Now it's just plug and play. So if you replace your Q by nine, and then you replace your Q by zero and you compute the difference. This is what you're going to get by evaluation. And this will be equal at the end of the day to nine. So the consumer surplus is equal to nine. Now let's compute the producer surplus using a different integral. So here we go. Boom. Okay. So the producer surplus is going to be the integral again from zero to nine. And again here, the nine is the equilibrium quantity. So that's my Q zero. And then it's always the equilibrium price first. So it's P zero minus SQ. And here SQ is just Q 
plus three. So make sure you put the right thing in the right spot. This is the most important part of the question. Typically the computation itself for those questions is not that challenging. So if you simplify things a little bit, 12 minus three will be nine minus Q. So that's going to be my integral to compute. So here it is, boom. So nine minus Q, be careful. My nine and my Qs, they look very, very similar. So now I just need to find a primitive because this integral involves very basic equation. You can construct a primitive fairly easily. So here I'll use big FQ as nine Q minus Q squared over two. And then I sum in the first fundamental term of calculus. So this will become boom, f of nine minus f of zero. And if you do the computation, I'll let you verify that this is going to simplify to boom, 81 over two. All right, so for that example of how to use different integrals to compute consumer surplus and producer surplus, that's it, that's all. Bye-bye,